says he has now decided how the U.S. will respond. The president tonight saying he holds Iran responsible for supplying the weapons used in the attack. The Pentagon says U.S. forces in the region have come under attack at least 165 times by Iranian-backed militants. This one, of course, tonight, final preparations underway for retaliatory strikes against Iran-backed militants, which could come at any time now. A response to the brazen drone attack that left three American soldiers dead, 40 wounded at a remote desert base here in Jordan. President Biden today making clear his mind is made up. Yes. A response that will strike multiple targets over several days, according to a U.S. official targeting the facilities that enabled the drone attack. But another senior U.S. official acknowledging that the strikes will not likely hit Iran itself, given the president's deep concerns over the war escalating. I do hold respon them responsible in the sense that they're supplying the weapons to the people who did it. I don't think we need a wider war in the Middle East. That's not what I'm looking for. The U.S. did strike facilities in Syria used by Iran's Revolutionary Guard back in November, a facility believed to be providing weapons and funding to the militant groups in Iraq and Syria. One of the Iranian-backed groups under suspicion tonight, Qatab Hezbollah, claims it's suspending attacks on U.S. forces in the region, but the Pentagon saying actions speak louder than words. I don't think we could be any more clear. Uh, that we have called on the Iranian proxy groups to stop their attacks. Uh, they have not. And so we will respond in a time and manner of our choosing. President Biden today speaking with the families of the fallen soldiers, 46-year-old Sergeant William Rivers, 23-year-old Sergeant Brianna Moffat, and 24-year-old Sergeant Kennedy Sanders. The president expressing sorrow for their deaths and gratitude for their service. Today, Moffat and Sanders posthumously promoted to the rank of sergeant. She wanted to. And tonight, our Faith Abube speaking with the family of Brianna Moffat, who was on her first deployment. Her mother, Francine, describing the moment military officials told her her daughter was dead.